very pleasant gentleman who had uh, exploratory surgery and he's in today because he needs to have these staples removed and it's been two weeks out and the reason we're showing this to you is because a lot of people are really scared that they get these staples put in and then they're worried that it's going to hurt a lot when they come out the truth of the matter is is it's really not a very painful thing now it can be a little bit kind of touchy but not bad now if it hurts tell me okay uh, that one didn't hurt all right good let's see so we're okay there we got one right here let's get it oh got one that's kind of deeper right there that one's gonna be a tougher one all right come on out there you might feel this one a little bit hopefully okay. not did you feel it no I had a little bit of a little bit of tingle just a little tickle tingle all right yeah sometimes when they've been in more than you know say a week or ten days the skin will actually grow up around the staple and it makes it a little bit more uncomfortable to come out. But the key to this is applying the staple remover, remover in the right position and not pulling too hard on it because if you do, these can hurt. But typically... That's what they did to my brother. He did gets they? hurt, yeah. So if you do them right, they shouldn't really hurt. And these are coming right out, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about getting some... I haven't heard a little bit. Think about getting some uh, uh, earrings put in there instead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. You're going to get the loop ones? Yeah. The, color, loop. the colorful loop uh, ones? Yeah. <laughs> Wish I could afford the diamond stud ones, but yeah. Yeah, those aren't going to cost too much. <laughs> How many staples did they say they put on there? Well, I thought it was like 34 or 36, something like that. Oh, wow. It's a good thing we don't charge you by the staple to take them out, right? I appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, some of scrap for scrap metal. they got to be stainless steel, I'm sure. Right? Yeah, I bet they are. Yeah. Did that one hurt, that last one? No. Okay. There we go. See, this one's kind of deep. This one may sting. Oh, wait. This one may sting a little bit. Hopefully not. This this is one of these that's grown in. Right. That wasn't bad. Not bad. You all right over there, Gonzo? My back is starting to hurt the way I'm twisted. Okay. We've only got about an hour to go here, so you should be all right. Ah. 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 This one's deep too. There we go. Yeah, I could feel you twisting that one. Yeah, that. I had to kind of angle it. He's not even making faces. I think I'm the one making the faces over here. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, you guys are grimacing more. Yeah, so we've got Gonzo and we've got Lexi. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was Gumby. <laughs> yeah, but she likes Lexi. Right? I like Gumby. I like Gumby too. <laughs> But you know, if she's she, gonna beat me up later for it. <laughs> probably. Yeah, Dr. G calls me Lexi. I mean, Gum Gumby. Nancy calls me Chickadee. That's what your mother used to call you, too, yeah. right? Chickadee, you, you said? Know, you're a technician, or? No. Is that a te technician name? Chickadee? That one was a little bit sore. That one stuck, yeah. Yeah. All right. How was that? That one wasn't too bad. Feels like a pinch, basically. Yeah, a little. Looks like this is healed pretty well. Mm -hmm. Just got about five or six more here. Oh, okay. Just. <laughs> well. Hey, no, no brain, no pain. Come on. Right, right. Compared to 35 or 36 or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to keep your stitches? <laughs> no, I'll let you sell them for the scrap metal. <laughs> I'll take them to my dad. How about that? I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Last one. 
Oh, all right. Yeah, good job. Okay. I so think we got them all, and I think you're well healed. So just keep on the healing or doing what it's been doing. Part yeah. Of the healing of it. I think we just leave it alone now, and it should just be fine. If you... and action. Stay tuned for the just says the video. Totally and it cut up. and back. Go back. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Tara and I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about Meta7. So I have a condition called PTSD, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, as well as several anxiety disorders. And um, I was housebound in my house for three years. Um, with the help of a bunch of doctors, I got that under control. I'm working really hard. But no matter what we did, the doctors, me, nobody could figure out my serious fatigue during the day and my inability to sleep at night. So, one day I'm watching a video just like this one, go Dr. Gilmore, and um, I decided to just go for it. Um, and I am so happy I did. I was worried about the energy level, whether it would make me feel anxious or jittery. It's natural. It's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm... Um, I'm just out, I'm hanging out, I'm I'm doing things, I'm living again. My service dog, Wilhelmina, is just like knocked out right now because she's getting so many walks and we're getting out and doing so much. So thank you so much for Meta7, Dr. Gilmore. And um, if you're watching this and you're wondering, get the 90-day supply, forget the 30 because you're going to love it. Okay, bye.